Father, we worship you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. Well, thank you for bringing us to the end, the gradual end of the month of October. You have kept us. You have shown us grace. You have shown us mercy. We worship your holy name. We ask that you look into your heart, speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Hey, God's people shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah, I need some help. Some good shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Are we ready for the word of God? All right, let's turn our Bibles quickly to Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 26. Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 26. So the, this is what the Bible says here. It says, be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So he's telling us, be angry, don't sin. Why did he say that? The next line. Neither give place to what? Is he on the screen? Verse 27 now. He said, neither give place to what? He said, neither give place to the devil. So watch this now. How do you give place to the devil when you have, when you're angry it says, and the anger begins to stay, you will give place to the devil. Look at verse 28, very powerful. I want to see how it says, because when they say they can give place to the devil, people think of some of spiritual things. And he's saying simple things here. He says, let him that still, still no more, rather let him what? Work with his hands, that the thing which, that which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. So what he's saying is this, <laughs> very powerful. He says this, if you will not work, eventually you will steal. And you not working is you giving place to the devil. Because you eventually do what you do not want to do. So that's what he's saying. So why am I saying this to us? Um, a lot of people, so today I want to deal with a lot of topics. I, I have three things to deal with, but I'm going to really keep to time. So today I want to deal with marital delays. I want to tell you a few how to live in the right relationships and how to get over you know, and, and just maybe those two things. But the major thing is this. This is the major thing I wanted to see. Is this, that if you don't have the right mindset, it will affect you. That's what I'm going to. So he says here that if you, it says the one that has no job will eventually steal. But how does he steal? He says it gives place to the devil because he had no job. As a single person, there is a way you can walk with the devil to ruin your relationships or to keep you single. You will cooperate with him. You'll be surprised that you are the cheap partner. He's just walking with you. So those are the things we want to look at today. So we're going to start from there. Okay. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay. Yes. I want to identify a relationship going nowhere. No, it's true. So that you don't waste your time. Number one, words don't match action. Words don't match actions. Words don't match action. You know why I'm telling you those things? So that when you fall in love, there'll be something you can go back to and read. Because these things, you know them. But once you fall in love, you forget. So the first thing is that words don't match action. The second thing is this. Regular conflict over trivial matters. Regular conflict. So, there's no harmony in that relationship. Some of you are like, mm, you're calculating that. Is that we are? That's a good place to be. Number three. Conflicts are hardly resolved. They are just swept under the carpet. And the reason why that's an issue is that unresolved conflicts <laughs> are like toxic materials. They stay alive even though you have abandoned them. Glory to God. The fourth one is this. Poor or no communication. Single people, this is why sex when you're dating is not a great idea. Because you're going to really sexualize the relationship and kill the communication. You're going to just sexualize it. Every time you end up seeing the guy's trying to have sex, 
then when he has sex, he's so exhausted from the sex, he's going to be trying to sleep off. Then when he wakes up, then he has to go. And that's it. So you see people that say they spend all their time together. And, and this is what ladies don't know. Once you have a very sexual relationship, once the lady says she's coming, the guy starts thinking of sex. And once the guy starts thinking of sex, he doesn't think of any other thing again. Even when you come and you have serious issues to discuss, once he thinks of sex, everything you say is right until he has sex. Can I, hear, can I get an Amen. Uh oh. So you're saying, I have something to discuss with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's discuss. This is, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens is, no, no, you're very correct. You're very correct. You're very correct. Can we not go inside? You let it. Can we not go inside? Ah, you don't even know what I'm inside. Something, something's doing me right now. I'm thinking, you see, uh, uh, that's why I said you're sorry. This is easy. Because all of the energy is to get into the bedroom. So whatever you're discussing, the, the level of agreement, of alignment, is very high because the person is not listening. So one of the things you want to check about your relationship is that the way you really get to talk. And let me say something to you. As this also affects those that have a lot of sex, it affects those that don't have sex. Because sometimes when church people get to date because of the church experience, we, in a bid not to have sex, we stay apart so much, we don't have a lot of conversation. I'm telling you, the very, very serious born again, in a bit not to have sex, big sins, you cannot sleep over, you cannot stay too long with each other alone. You know, in a bit to do that, we stay away so much so that we, can, we should not have sex. All right. So the other thing is this. So I've given the first one is that what's the match? What? What's the match action? The second thing is that regular conflict over travel issues. Because what it means is that you guys don't tolerate each other. You can't tolerate each other. So very simple things cause fights. See, there's a lot of fights you have when you're single that you should consider that this should not work. Because why are you fighting so much? It's either there's something wrong with your combination or perspective. And the other issue is that, so I can give you all those scriptures, you know, um, difficult situations are really at least of. Then another thing is that this is very powerful. Your emotions are not valued. Your emotions, so it's like, why are you crying? Why are you crying, Seth? Your emotions are not valued. Because if you get into that kind of marriage, you begin to hide eventually. You begin to hide. You begin to hide. Because you feel as if nobody wants to be in a marriage where the emotions are not valued. You know, let me tell you something. I was sharing with a friend of mine. I said, I may not be right, but my emotions are right within me. Value my emotions. So my point will be useless, but my emotion is right because only that my emotion is based on a useless point. But because I feel this way, that is a re reason for you to pay attention. So when you're in a relationship where your emotions, and emotions are very powerful because when emotions are not valued, it will really hurt you deep down later on. It really hurts you. So maybe, let me talk from a guy's perspective. Maybe a guy says, oh, you're dis I feel disrespected. I'm like, what's disrespecting me there? That's why I talk to my father. And when you say that, you don't really, you, maybe it's not that you look down his emotion, but you don't understand his emotion. Maybe the lady told you that, oh, this thing actually pain me. You're like, why are you crying? What's painful about that? I only say she do this now. The fact that it pains somebody that you love is the reason to pay attention. It's not about right. It's not about wrong. It's just a good reason to what? Pay attention. And sometimes they're not right. But when you pay attention, because they matter to you, you can explain it. I'm like, oh, this is how I see it. And they can come to the conclusion that, oh, wow. Because emotion is based on information. So the information might be wrong. Or the perspective might be wrong. All right, so the next thing is this. So I don't want to quickly jump over this because it's not my main message. Yeah, so, this, so the, the next is it. You pretend to make your partner happy. Ladies. This mostly ladies. You pretend to make your ha partner happy. 
then there's a lot of secrecy. Secrecy. Then the next one is, so, so these are things you want to check in your relationship. Focusing on what is wrong and what is not, not what is right. So in that relationship, there's a lot of focus on what is wrong, not what is right. And the next one is assuming the worst. There was a lady in the choir that asked a question earlier. Is she here? Or oh, she's gone for with the other service? Oh, she's gone. She said, Pastor, what about when he's not picking up the phone? When he's not picking up the phone? When he's not picking up the phone? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, he said, what should I do? I said, ask him why he's not picking up the phone. He said, why must you ask every time? I said, the only reason why you're not asking is because you assume something. Or you don't believe what he's saying. I said, so why are you dating something that you don't trust? If, you've not, if someone has not given the reason not to trust them, trust them. If someone gives you the reason not to trust them, don't trust them. But you just assume that for him not to be picking up the phone, he's with somebody else. Where do you get that from? It's a carryover from another relationship. Because he's not done it to you, but someone else has done it, or you've heard it from somebody, and you're judging him based on another person's mirror. So why not just ask him for and say, hey, why are you not picking up your phone? And someone says, what about if you give the same excuse all the time? Just believe it. Let me tell you something. You will live a very sad life if you assume the worst of your partner. You know what you have? Self-torture. By yourself. You'll be torturing yourself. By yourself. You'll be giving yourself a pay. Nobody has to torture you. Because you will just be torturing yourself. Just be torturing yourself. Just be torturing yourself. Hey, my God. My God. Maybe he's dating somebody else right now. Just self-touch. Someone was sharing with me one time that the girlfriend had to come to the house. So I told the girlfriend, please don't come. I'm tired. Next thing, the girl showed up. And the reason why the girl showed up was this. To just check if who is in your house that is making you tired. That you told me not to come. Eventually got there. And he saw he was in the deep sleep. And she felt embarrassed. And I said, but you didn't have to have done that if you just trusted his word. And let me tell you something. If you eventually got there and you not found somebody, you'll be happy, right? That action, there's no way it will end up into success. Praise God. I said, praise God. I said, praise God. All right, so, 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 that's, um, so, so, so that's one one. Okay, so let's, let, let's go. So, this, so three things that will move you forward, let, and this is my message. Three things that will move you forward. I did part of it in the first service, and I'm going to do part of it again. You know, three things that will move you forward is this. Um, number one, number one. So all the single people here, look at me. All the single people here, look at me. Your belief is like a steering. Your belief is going to drive you. So, as we conclude the series today, and thank God that next week Sunday is Faith Seminar, very powerful. Please don't plan to miss it. As we conclude the series today, you need to ask yourself, because I can teach you next year. Teaching will not change you. It's how it affects your mind and affects your behavior. That's what changes you. What you need to ask yourself is this. What belief is changing this month? That's the key thing. You need to ask yourself, the reason why is this. Let me tell you the reason why. The reason why is that belief determines behavior. Behavior determines results. So, what belief is changing now? If you know what belief is changing this month, raise up your hands. That this is my new belief this month. You need to think about it because I'm going to call you. So, I'm warning you ahead of time. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, 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 that's what I mean. If you know what belief that I used to think this way, I now think this way. This is, and the belief is not something small. This belief is something that you know is holding you back. And you now say, okay, I'm going to make an effort to transit from this belief to something else. If you know that kind of thing, raise up your hand, please. Wonderful. Please come. Yeah. Who has a microphone? Yeah. What? No, you don't have to stand up. Yeah. Okay, um, it has to do with my um, former relationship. Yeah, I... Just give me in, in, in short because of time. Yeah. Okay, it has to do with my former relationship. And, you know, I actually 
because of the way I saw my mom, a like, very devoted woman to her husband, and also I also grew up to be that kind of a person. But uh, my, last, my last relationship didn't go well because I was so committed and all. So after I left, I felt like, oh, the next person, I'm never going to be committed. I'm just going to be like, okay, bad girl. That so what belief? Be. You're but talking now about what I, belief? I, yeah, but now I, I just, due to the series, yeah. I just believe that, okay, it was that person. So I don't have to, because of that person, I love like what you say. I don't use one relationship to what generalize on what men and women are. It's a, it's a part. The reason why is that you can still tomorrow date a nonsense guy. But you're not going to be like, oh, because of him, I will now generalize every person. All right. The lady behind you. I think mine's a bit different. Like, I Can feel, you hold the microphone closer okay. to your mouth? Yeah. I feel mine, it's, I feel God is trying to bring me, Christ, bring me back to Christ. I've been a very far person from God. I, this teaching made me, bringing me back to him. Like, it's bringing you back to Christ. Yes. So why were you far from God? Because of how I was brought up. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've been away from family since 10, and from 10, I've been by myself. So that has actually made me so, so far. I've, I don't believe anything about Christ, pastors, because of I've been being tortured in the past by pastors, and no, I don't even believe. I just felt this teaching had made me come, gas, come back to Christ. That is amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. That, that's amazing. And, and, and this is the power of relationship. The impact of a relationship on someone can affect the relationship with God. That, that's really amazing. That's amazing. Okay, can someone else tell me someone raise up their hand, please? Yeah, let's move to the middle. Yeah, something you have to change. Something you have to change. There's someone at the back. Chuma, just, just go towards the back. There's a lady. Yeah. Just in a minute, please. Let's make the comment brief. Yeah. So mine is um, assumptions, trust oh, issues. Trust issues, yeah. Yes. So the whole teaching would actually reshape me because, because of trust issues, I really find it difficult to believe or just really see the facts with what he's saying. But with this teaching, I would really try not to assume things in my so, head. So do you have a principle for trust right now? Let me give you a principle. Trust until you're given the reason not to trust. So the principle is this, trust before suspicion. That's the truth. If you come and meet me, I believe the best. But because you're human, you will show me who you are with time. So eventually you will show me either you lie, either you don't lie, whatever you will show me. So I have the principle. You know, you know someone said, oh, Pastor, you've heard a lot about me. I said, no, I don't do that. Though. As you come, I'll just believe. So, and I'll tell people, just put your cookie very low because I expect nothing from you. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the reason why I'm saying so, so uh, let's get back to the teaching now. The reason why I'm saying so is this. When you're going to deal with marital issues, so a lot of people are dealing with marital issues, you need to find out what is the key belief system that is hindering you as a single person. What is the key? So, that's my next question. All of you that are single here, what do you think is the key per thing that is hindering you from either dating or sustaining marriage. Can I get hands up? What is the key belief? What is the give mentality that is hindering you? Th this is a vulnerable moment. This is a vulnerable moment. Yes. What do you think is hindering you? She raised up her hand and she didn't mean it. It's okay. Okay, so I'm very shy. So I'm really going to try to do this. I think what is hindering me is um, a case of self-sabotage. I grew up from nothing and I wanted it to have so much so somehow I would always attract so much but when it comes I just get so scared I get so overwhelmed you know it's like attracting the man of your dreams and when he comes you're like you mess it up oh my god he's here how am I gonna do this so I think for so me give I'm, me one of the ways you've messed it up before oh my god the reason why I like ask you this kind of question that when you use English words some people don't understand what it is yeah when I say understand, it's not English. It's the fact that words mean different things to different people. Context is very different. So yeah. an example helps us. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Um, 
I don't know. I just, anyways, um, it's like him telling me that, oh, you're smart, you're beautiful, I want to settle with you. And I'm like, me? Why me? Like, why do you want me? And, and you begin, so and, 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 and you begin like to say lot. things that tell him that he doesn't want me to settle with me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So just to answer your question, you know, what's that belief that would change? Because I was going to respond the other time before you moved yeah. on. I'm really going to be intentional about believing in myself. I, I, I tell myself that, girl, you are it, but I really don't believe it. And when the opportunities come, I just flop because I'm shaking, and I don't know why. I, I will tell, I, really I will tell you what the belief that. is. Let me articulate it for you. The first, the belief is that you are not enough. Yes. That's you, it. you see, I got it. That's so the, the new belief you're going to have is that I am what enough. Enough. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. So so. So, the belief, so when, because I believe I'm not enough, when something comes to me, I walk with the devil to destroy it. Because I behave according to my behavior. I, I, let me show you in the Bible. Let me just show you quickly. Let me show you quickly. Numbers chapter 13, verse 39. So, the belief is that I'm, I'm not enough. And you know why people believe that they're not enough? There are a lot of reasons. I'm too dark, I'm too tall. One lady was telling me, said that um, I'm too tall. Someone lady told me today, I'm too tall. One lady said, I'm too dark. I said, I thought people love tall girls. Numbers 13, verse 39. Let's put on the screen quickly. So the belief is that I'm not enough. Oh, wow. Okay. Numbers 13, verse 39, not 31. What's wrong with DJ today? What? 37 then. 33, I'm sorry. 33. See what the Bible says. And when they saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which were come of the giants. Let's read the next time. Want to go? And let's do this together. Want to go? And we were in a... Wonderful. Lady in black, come. Let me, let me use for an example. Yeah, come. So, once she says, I'm not enough, I'm going to see her and say, she's not enough. Because, see what the Bible says, we were in our sight as what? Grasshoppers. And so were we in their sight. And we keep thinking, the reason why we think so is because of how they saw us. We don't realize that it was how we saw ourselves first. It's how they saw us. Thank you. Glory to God. And, and let me, let, can I be honest? I really, you know, today's last teaching, so I have so much to say. Church people have their own problems. I will tell you what their problem is. Mostly, people that come from church have a mentality. They are either people that grew up in a religious way or were challenged. So, when you have a congregation of people that were challenged, they will have a philosophy of challenge together. And they pass that philosophy into the marriage. Into, sorry, not into the marriage, into the church. And the church people think like that. So, so church people sometimes, even, I'll, I'll give an example. All the 25-year-old men you know that cannot drive, most of them are Christians. When you were young, the people that learned how to drive first were the bad boys. Yes or no? Why? It's a philosophy of religion. So, church people, there's a way we think. That's a, it's a way we think. It's a way we think. For those that are not born again, they challenge them, be daring, do things, be expressive. For church people, hey, be careful. Hey, 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 hey. So a lot of fear comes into what? Our system. And when we make a mistake, we take cane and flog each other. <laughs> Glory to God. 
so the first thing I was going to talk about is this. So if you're going to change, if you're going to change, so, and this is a big change, if you're going to change, one of the key things you must change is your belief. But the question is that you must be able to identify and say, this is the belief. Um, I spoke to a girl not too long ago, and she was telling me how she's delayed in marriage. But I believe came from a prophet. A prophet told her that she, she, she has a spiritual husband or something like that. And she has carried that belief for a long time. So much so that because she believes that, she actually doesn't expect to get married. The question is this. If you're going to change something about either getting married or someone, what belief is holding you down? And you have to be very sincere with yourself. That what belief is... And I'm going back to this because I can come in and give you a nice teaching that is nice, but I want change. And something when you want change, you have to go over the facts again. And I want everybody that has a pen to write down what belief is holding me back in my relationship. I wanted to write something down. What I wanted to look, I wanted to introspect and say, I'm dating, I'm engaged. What belief is holding me back? Glory to God. If you have an identified a belief that's holding you back, please raise up your hands. Let, yeah, let, let's go. There's someone, that, 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 yeah, there's a lady, yeah, there are a lot of people on this side. Yeah. You can just go to the back. You just, just the more people the back, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, for me, um, will I say the belief that is holding me back is that I feel I choose the wrong people because like the previous person I dated, it was someone I knew like when I was younger, but when How we How many have you dated? Three in total. <laughs> three. Just let me tell you, just let me tell you. <laughs> this is not spiritual though. This is pattern. For you to find your husband, you must date to three to five people. Uh, see, ask your mother. What I say? I say, ask your mother. Like, your father has first boyfriend. <laughs> See, some things you think that, because you also think that it's Satan. You don't understand some things are just patterns. The African Nigerian wrote jam at least twice. Yes or no? Yes. It's a pattern. No, no, no. Not all of it are young go. I'm talking about people that when there was no private university. Not all of you that are, you are Gen Z. No, I'm not the, the, the not Gen Z. When I was young, average, people wrote jam, you know, four times, that kind of thing. Because there was no private university, so there was only one way. So I'm only saying that to you because you've just did it. Just, just after the second one, you just said, maybe, because in your mind, the first person I fall in love with will be the first one I will marry. How? I actually told that because... What is they, it? I actually told that because oh, you my siblings, that. Oh, you, you all the of them married the first people they dated. Wow. Wonderful. Thank God you're delivered now. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Cool. We can hear you. All right. So I guess my fear would be that um, when it comes to marriage, I'm afraid that Married men are not loyal. So it's like married men are the most single men in Lagos. So that is just my fear that if no, no, I no, get no. married... Is like, that a fear? Yeah. Or a reality? Oh. <laughs> no, let's be honest. Is that a fear or reality? Yes. Exactly. So. It's not a fear. It's a reality that a lot of married men are very single. Yeah. Exactly. So... What would, not, what would you not do with that? Uh, uh. So what you do with that is that, oh, a lot of my men are very single. How do I choose someone that doesn't end up that way? In addition to other things, what do I look for? Okay. That doesn't, what, what traits must you should put right now that will not make him go that way? Yeah, so that's it. Oh, okay. So I don't see, see, you're not afraid that's not what it is. You're, being, you're just warning yourself of a potential danger. So what you need to do is to factor in the risk into your choice. And say, so when you start dating someone, how can I find someone that will be very faithful? And the people that are very faithful and their mind makes them unfaithful, I hope you know that. That's something else you must know. The people that 
I know people that married as virgin and became unfaithful in marriage. Because most of the time when that happens, there was the disappointment in marriage that they began to look for outside. And it's always painful for virgins. That's why virgins must be careful. It's good and bad. Because after you've kept yourself, something that happens, and I say, ah, oh. so there was no value. You now enter markets. <laughs> Praise God. Did I, did I help you, my sister? All right. Uh, and t- the last person, just behind. Yeah. Okay. Th- these are very generic things. I- I'm expecting people to say things like, I don't really think I'm beautiful. I have a spiritual husband. How many of you know that they told you you have a spiritual husband? Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Let me tell you something. I want to talk to you. I want to be helped. I'm not playing. If they say you have a spiritual husband, raise up your hands. They've told you before. Listen. If you don't get rid of that thought, you will not marry. Because it's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy over your life. And it's very wicked for any human being to tell you you have a problem and not tell you a solution. And those people are not of Christ. Okay, when you not tell me I have a spiritual husband and you can't deliver me, what's the point? So I live the whole of my life in fear. And everybody has a spiritual husband, they're always yellow. The prophet needs to confess what he's looking for. Praise God. The reason why is that once you believe you have a spiritual husband, you, you already feel helpless. As soon as the guy misbehaves, you say, you see, my spiritual husband has started to deal with him. <laughs> so you feel helpless. I'm only telling you how your mentality, because we can go and, you know, this teaching is very nice and go ahead and talk this way and talk, but the practical things, the practical things you have to do, you need to know that this mindset is holding me back and I need to sink it. Some people are here, you really don't believe you're beautiful. Or you are attractive as a man. It's going to affect you. You need to change it. You are either going to be single for a long time. Or attract someone that will marry out of pity. And say, you know I'm not beautiful. This one has said you come. Why won't I go? The easiest people to sleep with are people that think they are not great. They give themselves so cheaply. And that's what I'm saying. I'm really saying that. I'm really, and I'm only letting you know that you need to know. I want to get married, but what is that belief? The reason why is that if you're trouble in that area, there is already a belief. Now your job is to find it. And I'm hoping that with all these weeks of series of teaching, you can actually find it. Yeah, you are not talking yet, so you will still talk. You will still talk because you're not telling us why you're single. Because you know. You may want to ignore it, but you know. Praise God. I said praise God. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's the person? Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'm at the back. All oh, right, yeah. Okay, tell me. Yeah. Okay, so for me, it would be that I feel that marriage would take away all my dreams because I feel like I'm very ambitious right as a woman there's so many things I want to do there's so many things that I'm doing right now and I feel that when I get married all those things I'm not going to be able to do them like it's I feel that women like they get to um, put their dreams aside because of the marriage and because of the kids. So I'm afraid of getting married. And when, when second you, step, also afraid no, that I, I might not want kids. You may not want kids. Yes. That's fine. Hold on. Let's, let's give some help. What, where did they get this from? Was your mom very productive? Or did she lose her dreams? Um, probably. What does that mean? Because... Okay, so she was going to um, travel out to further her education and stuff, but she didn't. I think because of my dad, I, I really don't have women like me in my family, 
right? So, okay. like, I want to travel. I'm already doing some things now, no, but, but I don't but, want but hold to on. not do so, it. So, your mom did not travel because of your dad and father had dreams? Yes. And your mom paid for it, yes or no? Well, I don't know. She doesn't talk about it. No, no, no. She doesn't talk about it, but like you can I get the energy. She doesn't like talk that. about it. You can see it. You can feel it. You feel like she, she, there's a feeling as if she lost something. Yeah. Because sometimes they don't say it, but you can feel it. I'm like, hmm. It's not, you, they're just like, no, be your papa's fault. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And of course you've not spoken, but you've spoken. You've spoken because you don't want to indoctrinate your child, but you've also said something. So this is what I would say to you. The first thing is that there's a template in your mind that you have that you have to fix. The second thing I will say is that there's a template you have. Some people, their husband, I know people that they are even more successful than their husbands. You know, I, don't, I can't mention names because this goes on the air. The second thing is this. Marriage would affect your dreams, sure. But the, what you want to do is to make sure that whatever you trade off is something you can trade off. Even for a man, it affects a man's dream. Whatever you want to trade off is what you can trade. For example, now, after the service, I would love to stay and mix with everybody. But I'll be too tired. When I get home today, I'm not going to have time for the family. So, although you want me to pray for you and jump on your head, I have to not do that. That's just some things that are very difficult. That, you know, left to some women, they can ask me to pray for them naked. Sure. Yes, it's a man of God. What does he know? Yeah. They forgot that he's a man of God, not a God of man. <laughs> so, you know, do you want to get married? Yes. I, you do? <laughs> I mean, that's the belief holding me back. So no, I, no, no. I, but do you want to get married? What is the cost your marriage will cost you? What can you trade off? The reason why is that if you don't settle that, you will find your belief taking you away gradually and gradually and gradually. Do you know what I'm talking about? All right. Okay, praise God. Okay, so, so, so that, that, that's what I can say. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the belief. So everybody write down your belief. I, who does not know his own belief here, but you're, you're stuck. You, you, you're stuck. You, you, know, you can't date, but you don't know if you have a belief that's already in you. Whoa. A guy, right? Give him the microphone. Please stand. Give him the so, microphone. Stand, sorry, stand. it was a previous question. I wanted to say something. Oh, no, no, no. We won't be on that. Thank you. Okay. You. Yeah, give him the microphone. Why do you want to say you were healed some months ago? Um, some weeks ago. Why do you want? You were the one. Uh, thank you. Um, My question to you is that you're stuck as a single, but you don't know what belief is holding you back. Yes, I am stuck. But you don't know what's belief you. But Stan, Stan, I want to remember. Were you the one that told me about how you were abused as a child? And were you the one? Yes. And yes. you don't know what's holding you back? I know to some extent, but I think I'm still a, a bit confused about it. And I want to talk about it now. Okay. No, because I want... Uh, hold on. I, I want to talk about it, but I really want someone that has no clue. Okay. Probably a lady that'd be like, you know, I think I'm perfect. And there's nothing. Yeah. Pastor, I, think I, I can do that personally. Yeah. This way. I agree to help, but maybe personally. Yeah. Okay, so... You need to stand for this one. Okay. Okay, so I really do not have a clue. Yeah. Um, Are you over 30? I'm 32. You're 32. Okay. Yes. Your last relationship, when was it? 2018. 2018? Yes. Five years ago. Okay, so since that time, what has happened? Nothing. I've just been working. I'm a single mom, so okay. I just divert all my love to my child. Oh, wow. And you say you don't know what's holding you back. Did you see how the answer just came from my mouth? Where's your attention? So the next thing I'm going to say, the first thing is your belief. The second is your focus. Anywhere focus goes, energy goes there. Anywhere focus goes, that's what grows. So, since you have something that takes away your time, which is your child, your focus, that's what will be growing. Your love life will never grow. 
You know what you want to do? Don't, I'm not saying don't care for your child, but pull back a little. Because for you to be, for you to feel that need to date, you must have a sense of emptiness. Yes or no? So the reason why a lot of single parents cannot date is that the love for the boyfriend, they've given to the child. The love for the child, they give to the child. That's why that child is sometimes overindulged. Because the child is more there. If I they call the child, or call me. <laughs> if it's a male child. So they put it there. But that, that's, that's the emptiness. So, but it's not only for single mom. It's also for people that are very successful. They pour that love into their, into their career or their business. It's because they distract themselves with it. So there's, that emptiness is not there. And the way it works is this. Until you're empty, you cannot be filled. Thanks. Praise God. Some of the people, it's their poverty that is distracting them. I hope you know that. Oh, you don't know that? Their poverty distracts them. They, they, they can't see people that like them because they're looking for someone that has a lot of money. Not just money, oh, a lot of money. Glory to God. That's the truth. And it's amazing because she said she doesn't see what belief she has. She didn't even spend two minutes on the microphone and the belief was right in front of her. Hello, hello, I'm here, hi, I'm here. The, the reason why is that I've done it for such a long time. All I just have to do is to sit down and I can hear the person is going to say it by him, he, he, he's herself. Okay, who else? Yours. Give her the microphone. Lady in front. Stand. So tell me. Um, so you said. Um, for, what belief could hold you from? Yes, yes. So you yes. don't think. So, so yeah. I've not really figured it out. Like, I don't know what it is. So what do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? When, last, when was the last relationship? Um, real relationship. Um, <laughs> apart from situationships. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. That's the point. No, 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 no. The unreal one. The unreal one. Uh, maybe like 2014. What? 2014. 2014. Is that the real one or the unreal one? The real one. The real one. Uh, the unreal one, Uncle. Um, maybe before the COVID. Maybe before COVID. So why did you stay with an unreal guy? No, like, so it was not, so it was not like months. It was just, okay, he came and then I said, oh, no, it can't work. So he, that's he said what I'm no. saying. Why did you say no, it can't work? That's the point. Because maybe it doesn't fit into... Um, don't say maybe. Like this somebody now. So tell us what does not fit into. Um, so you know when you're trying to get to know someone and then you just figure out... You can you put the microphone closer? Yeah. Okay, so you know how relationships can just start and... Oh, not, not relationship, nothing defined. That's what I mean. So I've not had like a defined relationship since maybe 2014. 2014. Yes. So what is an undefined relationship to you? Undefined relationship, you know. But you, dating, but it's not defined. So you're not dating. You're just okay. You're not. You're dating, but it's not defined. So it's not exclusive. Something like that. Oh, the, so the so person, everybody they, is talking to everybody. No, no, no. no. Oh, hold on. So, so this dating, he's dating you, but dating other people also. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Good. And you are dating him and dating other people also. But you are not doing that. He's the only one that is doing that. Yes, I'm not dating another people. Yeah, that's, okay, yes, that's, good, that's good. I'm talking to people too. Praise the Lord. There's this the last thing, Anna, and we'll, we'll probably just take one more and close. This is the last thing. This is the last thing. I can tell you what it is, but I want you to come to it. Why do you think it's right for him to date multiple people but you are confined to one person? Okay, so um, for me, I just think it's just, like I said, it's not defined. Yeah, and yeah, it's just yeah. an serious. But, but, but it's not defined, but you are serious with one him. So it's not like in my face, they are dating other people. Yeah. But it's not a defined relationship. So that's what I'm just trying to so say. So the question is that why do you stay in an undefined relationship? I'm not in it. So, 
that's why I'm saying that I don't know because I haven't. Do you understand her? So, thank you for understanding. <laughs> okay, okay, tell me what you understand. No. So, I haven't just had a defined relationship since 2014 that I broke up with someone. I agree. That's what I'm just saying. Yeah. No, no, I agree. But okay. I've asked you that from 24, this eight years. Yes. So, you've, so you say you've been dating other people. So, you, you know how you meet someone and then maybe people have dinners and then... No, 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 no. no. When Dinner is not, that's not what I mean by date. Okay, so that's what I'm saying that I haven't dated... I don't know how else to explain So you haven't that. dated somebody. Okay, that's fine. If you have dinner with someone, have you dated a person? No. So why do you say you're in an undefined relationship? I don't know. We're just hanging out. What? You're just talking? We're just talking. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So 2014. Okay, praise the Lord. Please, let's make it fast. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So 2014. 2014, quick. This breakup. Is that your first... That your first serious? First serious relationship. Huh? Yes, first serious. No, just hold the mic. Uh, first serious relationship, yes. Not okay. first, second. But is that the most serious one? That's yes. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten about the pain? Yes, because I've blocked and unblocked him. <laughs> so I think I have gotten over it. So at that time, I've watch, blocked him. Watch, 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 watch. I want to show you something. The moment I said... Is this your serious relationship? The temperature of our voice just dropped. Did you notice that? There's something there. Did you see? Did you see her face going just? Now? Did, did you see it? After the service, go and watch this video. Okay. Yeah. The reason why is that I'm not saying it could be hundred mm percent, -hmm. but the way you respond, there's some of that 2014 that I stay with you. And maybe it's something, the pain. Maybe because it's 2014 and you're still blocking and unblocking. You know, I'm, I'm not saying, remember, I'm, this is not perfect and I don't have all the time to sit down with you. Yes, yes, yes. You know. But you see, the, 2014 is eight years ago. There's a big thing there. So maybe you have to go back and most of the time, so, did you think you were going to marry this guy? Oh, yes. You thought so? Mm hmm Okay. So, what happened? Uh, relationship happened now. I said he broke up, so yes. What, what happened? What led to the breakup? Is something you can share? No. In front of okay. everybody. Not really, but it's not that serious. It's just the normal. It's not something out of... So, but how did it affect you? Oh, yes. Um... So when you are hoping that, um, okay, this is it, and then it didn't just work. So, so how did it affect you? The wall. Just build the wall back up. What wall? The wall of people coming so close just so that they can disappoint you. So you built the wall? Yes, I could say that. So when did they pull down the wall? When? Did they pull down the wall? <sighs> what? What's that? What is it? <laughs> That's what I'm asking now. When did they pull down the wall? Well, maybe have, I haven't met anybody that has jumped over it yet. Uh. <laughs> when I think of the goodness of Jesus. <laughs> My sister. My sister. <laughs> I'm not a robber. I don't jump over walls. So. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. You can give me the microphone. So, my sister, let, let me tell you something. Stand, stand, please. I love what you said. I built the wall. So, what do you do? Collapse the wall. I, I wish you can see her body language, but they're not showing to you on the screen. Because she said, mm -hmm. that, I wish you can see her body language. She's struggling with the fact that she has to pull down the wall. So what she expects is that a guy will come and what? Jump, Jump over, over the wall. Tell, tell, yeah, what? Tell me. I'm just saying someone that has just, I'm able to just let my dad down. 
give, give him. Someone that you can let down your guts. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I want to that's ask just you, if me, speaking. Yeah. I see someone without guts, and I see someone with guts, which one would I date? Okay. I'm just telling you that you've raised the bar for the person to date you. So okay. you need to, and the reason why you still have that bar, and that's why I say that there's still something from 2014. Because if you are properly healed, you will have wisdom, but there will be no gods. Praise God. Hallelujah. The only reason why I did all of that was to help everybody know that if you're in that situation, you can please sit down. There's something to deal with. Most of the time. That's why I did that. I just wanted, because, because we were like, oh, what, what do you think? And someone says, because, but the thing is that it's going to take a lot of personal examination. And your friends are going to tell you, you have a God. Your friends are close. Like, ah, just allow him now. Did they tell you that sometimes? Are you, are you the friend? Are you a friend? Huh? Sister, have you told her that before? Give, give your sister the mic. Give you. Take, take, take. Sister, have you told her that before? Yeah, sometimes. No, yeah, huh? Sometimes. Not once, sometimes. And now she says, I, I don't know why I'm delayed. I don't know why there's nobody. It's right there. I'm going to close. I, I've not finished, but I'm going to close because of time. And this is what I want to say to you. This is a big thing I want to say to you. The big thing I want to say to you is simple. This is a big thing. All this teaching, a lot of you have really enjoyed it. I want to go back to the YouTube page and take it one by one. And listen, because it's not laughing in a service that changes anything. It's just said, okay, I understand this. I understand this. Uh, okay, how do I change this? And have a lot of reflection within yourself. Then we're going to have a testimony. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. So if your life, if, if it's going to change, the belief must change. I've, I've, not known, I've not known her not to have this conversation with her. But just because of the principle of the scriptures, I could tell that this would be a challenge. I could tell. The reason why is that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, so someone says that, oh, I have a war. It's going to be like that. Someone says, I put all my love and attention on my child. Question, why, why, why are you going to get love from So the question is this, and, and, and the reason why you believe or you feel that way, you're right. You actually have a reason to feel and believe that way. Look at the person as a single mom. Haven't been a single mom. You know how tough it is? That might be the only option she has. She haven't gone through that big heartbreak. That might be the only option she, she has. But when you go through that, the question is this. It has consequences. Are you ready for the consequences? Or not? That's it. So your action is okay because it makes you feel safe. But are you ready for the consequences? So you, the big thing today as we, as we close the service is this. What do you believe that is holding back your relationship? And sometimes you have to think because sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's not obvious. You have to think very well. You have to talk to somebody else that's close to you and say, do you notice something? And when you do that, and maybe some of you have to see the pastors, get help with the singles. Thank God that this evening we have um, like Singles Connect online for people that want to meet and just chat on Zoom at 8 p.m. You know, yeah, on 8 p.m. at Zoom and just connect. Sometimes it's a fact that I have a child and I don't think anybody's going to like me. It's going to be something. Praise God. Any question before we close? No question. Thank you. Are you blessed? Let's read that Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25, 27 again, please. Let's read it again so that you can understand why I'm saying this. Please. I know a lot of you have questions and comments, but, you know, just the time is all gone. It says 26 now. Chapter 5, chapter 5. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
It's six twenty-five. Sorry, six twenty-five. Is that six? I said or five. Six twenty-five. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I said five later on. Oh, I think they said I'm saying the wrong thing. Ah. 427. 427. I'm sorry. That's my own fault. That's not DJ's fault. See what it says. Let's read that. Neither what? That's why I'm telling you this. Don't give place to the devil. Don't give something to the devil to use to fight your marriage, to fight your being single. Neither give place to the devil. Someone say hallelujah. Were you really blessed today? Yes, sir. How many of you saw something new? Awesome. All right, let's pray. I would cancel you to watch the third service online. I think it will help you.